You want a consistent way of generating a picking motion that stays the same no matter what happens. So if I play as normal with my thumb and index finger, that's what I normally do. Now I'm gonna do something I don't normally do. Hold it between the thumb and middle finger. Now hold it between the thumb and the third finger. And between the thumb and the little finger, which is ridiculous, but let's do it anyway. Now clearly that's not optimal, it's not the best it's gonna sound, but what I'm proving is the fact that the picking motion itself doesn't really change because it's taking place above the wrist joint. All this, thumb, fingers, that's just really the last 5%. Your picking motion should not be that affected. You want it to be concrete, you want it to be bulletproof, you want it to be consistent no matter what.